There is a new seven star terror raid coming to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Another one. <laughs> it's seven star Infernape. And if you're hearing my voice right now, you are one of the few brave souls that still does seven star terror raids. Hello there. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, let's talk about our latest seven star terror raid. But before we do that, I want to take 10 seconds to again plead. Please do seven star or five star Corydon and Myriadon terror raids as a way to shiny unlock them, make the community win a million terror raids against Corydon, and we can't catch it, but if we do, we all get the shiny. Please, please, I love terror raids. I want them to be fun again. But uh, let's talk about Infernape. And before we talk about how we're gonna beat Infernape, we need to talk a little bit about Infernape itself. Infernape's stats allow it to have a solid damage output with either physical or special attacking moves. Although I personally always think of Infernape as more of a physical attacking Pokemon. Defensively, it's not the bulkiest Pokemon, so we shouldn't have too much problems doing a ton of damage to it, but it is pretty fast. So most of the time it's going to be moving before our Pokemon, unless we slow it down with some speed control. Every single seven star Terror Raid, except for Don Dozo has had its hidden ability so far. So we can expect Infernape to have its hidden ability, Iron Fist, which gives a 20% damage boost to punching moves. And Infernape has a couple useful punching moves. 7 star Infernape is Terra type Rock, so we know it's going to have at least one Rock type move. Infernape is normally a Fire and Fighting type Pokemon, so we can expect it to have moves of both of those types as well. Rock type has 5 weaknesses, that's Fighting, Grass, Ground, Steel, and Water. Right off the rip we can rule out Grass and Steel. Grass because it's weak to Infernape's Fire type attacks, and Steel has the double whammy of being weak to both of Infernape's types, Fire and Fighting. So for our counters, we're going to focus on Terra Fighting, Terra Ground, and Terra Water counters. Which Terra type we end up using will be largely based on the coverage moves that Infernape gets, which we won't find out until the Terra Raid starts. Stone Edge is the rock stab I'm afraid of the most. It has a heightened critical hit ratio, so there could be some absolute heartbreaking critical hits in store for us. The good news is it has an accuracy of 80, so moves like Mud Slap that can lower Infernape's accuracy are going to go a long way against Stone Edge. If you're watching this video, that means you are a Terra Raid diehard, so you are more than familiar with Drain Punch. It has been a staple attacking move in Terra Raids. We've used it against Terra Raid bosses countless times, but we have not seen a 7-star Terra Raid use that Uno Reverse Guard and use Drain Punch against us. Now would be the perfect time. There are two elemental punches that Infernape could pack for this Terra Raid that would have a huge impact on what we're bringing. The first of that is Thunder Punch. If Infernape has Thunder Punch, we are going to avoid reusing probably any Terra Water Counters. The second is Ice Punch. And yes, Infernape the Fire Monkey does get Ice Punch. In the same vein, if Infernape does get Ice Punch, that is going to make it really difficult for us to bring any Terra Ground Counters for this Terra Raid. The Fire Monkey has a whole mess of useful support moves like Swords Dance, Bulk Up, Fake Tears, even Calm Mind Taunt. So it has a lot of tools that it can play with. Now that we know what we're up against, let's take a look at some Pokemon you can use in online group raids to get the win against Infernape. Make sure to check back for the channel after the Infernape Terror Raids starts for how you can easily solo 7 Star Infernape. I'm also going to be live again uh, on YouTube when this Terror Raid starts, so come uh, easily solo with me. These full builds are going to be in the description, but we're going to go through each of them quickly. Up first is a support Toxapex, which is an absolute tank. We're probably going to avoid this build if Infernape does end up getting Thunder Punch. Its uh, Terra type is not important because I actually don't want to Terrastalize with it. Why Toxapex? Because it has an absurdly high defense, clocking in at 443 with its EVs and IVs, and it has a very favorable type matchup. Being Poison and Water type, it allows us to resist Infernape's Fire and Fighting type attacks. Its moveset allows us to be a really effective supporter. We can use Acid Spray to soften up Infernape for our special attacking allies and Chilling Water to lower its damage output for uh, boosting the survivability of all of our allies. Iron Defense helps Toxapex stay on the board and tank more hits. Recover allows us to recover HP, but that's not our only recovery. We also have the Black Sludge held item, but, and while because we are a poison type, it restores HP instead of damages us. Because we're so tanky, we'll be able to take advantage of our three cheers, throwing in some HP for our allies, or an attack cheer if needed for some extra damage output. Keeping with our support Pokemon, next up we have a Terra Ground Palisand. If Infernape does get Ice Punch, we're not going to want to use Palisand. But if it doesn't have Ice Punch, Palisand is going to be a really effective supporter. 
It's immune to Infernape's fighting type moves and it resists Infernape's rock type moves. Its moveset allows us to really effectively nerf Infernape's damage output. Right off the rip, we have Mud Slap, which is going to be very effective because I think Infernape is going to have Stone Edge, which already has a chance to miss. Throw in a couple Mud Slaps, and Infernape is going to miss a ton of attacks against us. If it can't hit us, it can knock us out. But if it does hit us, we have Chilling Water to lower Infernape's attack, increasing the survivability of our, our Sandcastle and all of our allies. Skill Swap lets us negate Infernape's Iron Fist ability. We can give it a Sand Veil, which won't really help us because I don't think there should be any Sandstorms. But negating that Iron Fist ability is nice because it takes away that 20% damage boost that Infernape is going to enjoy. Scorching Sands will allow us to do some okay damage, but the most important here is the chance to inflict a burn on Infernape. That is going to cut all of Infernape's physical attacking damage in half. You could tweak this moveset to potentially solo with Palisand, again, if there is no Ice Punch. It has the held item leftovers for this support build. That way it can just uh, passively restore some HP while using all those really useful support moves. Up next is a mixed supporter attacker, Quagsire. Why Quagsire? Because I like its typing. Its water and ground typing lets it resist Infernape's rock and fire type moves. Another benefit of Quagsire is the ability unaware. And as you are a where, I'm not using unaware. <laughs> so you can say where is unaware. But <laughs> besides the point, I'm not using it right now because I want to enjoy the benefits of Acid Spray to lower the target's special defense. But if Infernape ends up spamming something like Bulk Up, we can use unaware to just completely ignore it. Unaware. Once again, we have Mud Slap to lower Infernape's accuracy. It's gonna be really powerful. Earth Power is going to let us deal a lot of damage, and it also has a chance to lower the special defense, but we should be doing a ton of damage against Infernape after some Acid Freeze. Chilling Water, you get it, it lowers Infernape's attack, good for business. Last but not least, we're keeping it simple, we're going to run the ball, we're going to use Iron Hands. So long as Infernape doesn't get Acrobatics, Infernape does have crazy coverage though, shout out to Infernape. We're keeping it simple, Belly Drum and Drain Punch. If Infernape wants to use Bulk Up to raise its defense, we can focus energy, critical hit, ignore all that. Iron Hands, really, really strong in raids, probably on my Mount Rushmore of Terror Raid Pokemon. So I think Iron Hands is gonna get the job done again. Uh, I mean, all the Terror Raid favorites are probably gonna have a good showing. LOL, just use Annihilate or even uh, Corviknight with a Terrifying Body Press. We've done a lot of Terror Raids by now. They don't have a lot of variants. We've seen all the typing. There's not a lot they can really throw at us at this point that we haven't already seen, which is, I think, um, a big reason for the decline in the amount of people that do the Terror Raids. But I still love them. And if you love them too, let me know in the comments and also let me know what you're gonna be using to take down Seven Star Infernape. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Drain Punch on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Infernape season.